Hello everybody, this is Charles and today I'm not here for a video review but I'm here to share some interesting um, news that I heard from a contact of mine who is a representative of Bandai. So before I start, uh, just to let you guys know that this are uh, unofficial news at this point in time. So uh, whatever I say, you know, Bandai could acknowledge it or dismiss it. Uh, but coming from uh, the source that I heard and who, who has been uh, very accurate so far, uh, I believe this information is more or less at least a 70% accurate. No, it's at least 70% accurate and it's um, going to happen. So I'm going to share news on uh, SRC, Super Robot Shokokin, SOC, So of Shokokin, uh, Metal Composite Gundam and uh, Metal Build. So here let me just start with uh, SRC. So SRC we have Genesis Gao Geiger here. Um, it is uh, confirmed, okay, or from my source that we are going to get a gold version of Genesis Gao Geiger for this year's Tamashii Nations event uh, happening in the later part of this year. So we will get a gold color Genesis Gao Geiger as an event exclusive. Whether or not it becomes a lucky draw item or a mass order in uh, Tamashii web, uh, that remains to be seen, okay. And uh, now, in terms of um, it's a it's a mixed news. Okay, it's, this could be a SOC. Okay, so of cooking or SRC. Okay, the my contact couldn't tell me specifically, but uh, there is a Goldie Mark. Okay, Goldie Mark basically is uh, the robot that transformed into the Gold Goldion Hammer. So there will be a Goldie Mark figure. Okay, I'm not sure at this point in time whether it's going to be a SRC figure or is it going to be a SOC figure that's going to be part of the uh, Soul of Shokokin Gao Geiger coming out uh, later on this year. So, uh, my personal guess is that it's going, Goldie Mark is going to be a SOC figure, it's going to form the GX series. Uh, reason being, under the SRC line, the uh, sub-robots for the Gao Geiger team hasn't really been selling well. Uh, Cho, uh, I mean, be it Chou Ryujin or Enyu, Enyu Ryu or Bovok, they haven't really been selling well as sub-characters of the franchise. So, I personally think that it's unlikely that uh, Bandai is going to release Goldie Mark as a regular release. Even if they do release Goldie Mark as a SRC figure, chances are I think that he's going to be a Tamashi Limited because those are made to order. Uh, and um, personally, I feel that since uh, Bandai is going to release the SOC So Chokokin Gao Geiger, which is uh, expected to be uh, end of this year or early next year, okay? Uh, it's a very high chance that they will follow through with the add-on part, which is the Goldie Mark, which totally makes sense. Uh, either way, be it both uh, SRC or SOC, I'm very much looking forward to getting a Goldie Mark figure. So here's the uh, what I have for uh, SOC. And let me just see anything else I know for SOC. No. Okay, apart from Gao Geiger being the latest project, uh, there's no other update of what, what the next SOC is going to be after Gao Geiger. And as I said, Gao Geiger could come end of the year or could come early next year, uh, depending on a lot of factors like the design and the manufacturing process. But I personally feel that it's more likely to be an uh, early 21.5 thingy. All right, so let me just move uh, JC Gao Geiger out of the screen right now. We take a look at uh, the focus on Metal Composite. So Gundam Metal Composite, um, currently no plans, okay? They're there will there is no plans for any new metal composite figures. Uh, there will not be a metal composite bunshi normal, which is the one without the claws and with the two giant shields. Uh, there is no plans to make it. Reason being that the sales of the metal composite bunshi is below expectation of uh, what Banda expects, so uh, it's not selling as well or as high as they thought it would be. And uh, my feedback to them was because this figure came too late. Okay, Banshee came too late. He came two years late. When episode 5 of uh, Unicorn Gundam was actually screened, uh, I felt that was the best period when everybody's uh, impression and everybody's uh, emotions were high when they saw the Banshee. Everybody was really excited to get it. But uh, Bandai didn't choose to release a metal composite then for reasons unknown, okay? Uh, it's a very simple molding, okay, as you can see, it's a very simple molding, adding this part, this part, and just changing the head and probably the chest. Uh, so, no, do not understand why they didn't launch it earlier. Uh, instead, they focus a lot on the master grade, the high grade, and the other model kits, which sold extremely well. 
and uh, I gave the feedback to to the representative that no, I know it so well because everybody just can't wait to get their hands on the bunchy. Uh, so you know, if you do not get them a full figure, you do not get them a metal composite, just buy whatever's on hand, be it robot damashi, be it. HG or MG, they'll get it. And by the time that you release Bunshi, okay, as a metal composite figure, it's a little late because most people, uh, a lot of people would have actually gotten a high grade, a metal damashi or a um, master grade figure, and chances are that they probably didn't feel that it was necessary to get a metal composite. So, you know, the feelings have died down since then. And uh, because of that, uh, sales wasn't set so fantastic, wasn't up to the expectations, and um, there's currently no plans to do a uh, Bunshin normal, which is the one with shield. Or I think there's also no plans to do a uh, full armor Unicorn Gundam as well. So for Metal Composite, for now, nothing. All right, for the rest of the year, likely nothing. Okay. Next on, we see Wings. Okay, we see Wings. I'm gonna show these two. Okay, Destiny Gundam and uh, Freedom Gundam. Okay, for Metal Build. All right, right now we have the ARX-8 uh, from the Full Metal Panic uh, series. So, uh, based on my understanding of the uh, performance, or uh, the sales performance of the uh, Metal Composite, it has been doing extremely well. Uh, Bandai has noticed that sales for Metal Composite figures are really, really very good. Uh, uh, there's a chart that actually shows how well metal composite fig uh, sorry metal built figures have been selling over the years, which is really going going up. And uh, response for the ARX it was been wonderful. Um, the I think the pre orders have been filled up. Uh, so much so that I think the pre-orders in Japan itself is already full. So this is a good news because uh, there is a consideration of whether they will do the uh, ARX-7, okay, which is a variant of the ARX-8. So chances are if the ARX-8 sells really well, they are going to release the ARX-7 as uh, in line for one of, the, one, of the new, one of the next products for Metal Build. Not sure where it's going to follow uh, up immediately after ARX-8 or later on, uh, but there are plans for a ARX-7, which makes sense because it's basically just uh, retooling and remolding of some parts. And for our fans of ARX-8, the uh, additional jet pack uh, and additional weapons of ARX-8 will be a Tamashi exclusive. Yes, you heard me, it will be a Tamashi exclusive. So uh, the jet pack and the additional weapons for ARX-8 will be a Tamashi exclusive. So stay tuned to that. And uh, coming back to Destiny Gundam, there are no plans to have a repaint or a uh, power-up mode of Destiny Gundam. I think in the animation, Destiny Gundam has this something that looks like a trance arm or a, a uh, shadowy um, silhouette-ish uh, form, okay, when it powers up. Uh, but there's no plans to make that, okay. Uh, not 100% sure on that because when I asked if there was a plan for a uh, Metal Build exclusive for Tamashi Nations, I couldn't get an answer out of uh, my contact. So you never know, maybe they might surprise us with a, with a variant of Destiny Gundam. But as far as I know right now at this point in time, there's no plans to make a variant for Metal Build Destiny Gundam. And for those of you who um, are interested in Freedom Gundam? There are preliminary early plans to make a Strike Freedom Metal Build. Yes, you heard me clearly. There are early plans for a Strike Freedom Metal Build right now. It's, a, it's in a very, very early stage of planning right now. So uh, anything could happen. It could be a, it could happen, it could not happen. But uh, if you really want it to happen, my advice is whatever feedback forms you have for Tamashi Hong Kong or Tamashi Japan or, or Bluefin, tell them you want the Strike Freedom Metal Build because our voices count, all right? Because us as a consumers, we have the right to determine or we have the power to determine what comes out next. So as long as uh, there is a lot of calling, there's a lot of motivation for them to do a Strike Freedom Metal Build, they will do it. So I, I personally myself, I'm gonna submit all the survey forms that I have to tell that I want a Strike Freedom Metal Build. I want him so bad, you know, that I I will pay a lot more for him. You can do a Strike Freedom Metal Build, you can do a platinum color or exclusive Strike Freedom Metal Build, I will buy. Okay, as long as you do a good job of it, I will buy. So uh, yeah, so this is the news that I have uh, based on my contact. Again, these are unofficial news and uh, we wouldn't be able to know how true or how accurate they are. So take it with a pinch of salt, but uh, based on the credibility of my contact, like I said again in the start of my vi uh, video, this review, I will give it a 70% accuracy. 
all right so here's charles uh signing off with uh some sharing i hope you guys have enjoyed it so let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and hope that whatever we want uh will appear all right so stay tuned my channel for more video reviews next time